welcome to the Food Scientist Podcast. I am your host, Amy Zajac. I am here with Danny Sussman. And my taste buds and voice box are just fine. And you'll know why we're saying that, but we're also here with Brian Pierce. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> listening this week. We will, as always, run down with some food news and experiences. Then we have some interesting things to talk about. We have... Some listener-supplied hot sauce, we have some M&M's, and we have some of our ever-present meat chips. International meat chips. But with some international, yes. So to get us started, who wants to talk about their food experiences? Oh, well, okay. Or news, whichever you want first. I, I know what I want to talk about. What What's do you that? want to talk about? I, I left the country you for did. like two Oh, and we weeks. should say, hey, everyone, sorry that we missed you last week. Yeah. Uh, we scheduling because someone was on a 50-week cruise. Well, wait, I, but that leads to a thing. We did right, a live stream. I, you know, that's what I want to talk yeah. about. I left the country, and you did something incredibly dumb, Brian. Yes. And Amy, you she enabled me. You enabled this. And thing. I would do it again. I also tortured him. But it we're talking be. about YouTube, people. Follow us on YouTube. Yeah, so if you didn't notice, if you didn't see on any of our social media, I did a challenge to try and eat 100 chicken nuggets. And he's the, the lead is in that word, try. Tried. And I have questions about yes, that. Yes, I would love to hear. Now, Danny, you you had access to Wi-Fi. You were going to try to be in the chat, but you forgot how time zones work. Is that correct? Um, a combination of time zones... And satellite internet. Okay. It, all right. All it, right. It wasn't happening. So yeah, you're. You, but I, I, I we did. missed you. But yeah. But not really. I don't know. So now here's my question. Mm-hmm. You've talked with us for a long time. Yes. And yeah. what one of the reasons that didn't happen was um, because I had no someone. Right, I yeah. like. Yeah. So what possesses you to have your heart set on trying to eat a hundred nuggets? Well, you know, maybe if you had watched the video, you would... Did you answer that question? Yes, I did. I know it was a New Year's resolution. Yes, I mean, that's... But why? Thank you, hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'll have to forgive us all. Uh, when Danny said his voice box and throat are fine, mine are... Like, we're at a good 90%, but yeah, and, and Amy's is well Amy's is less. suffering. No, I'm going to go back to as a child... This is going way back. I'm pretty sure I'm not making this up, but McNuggets <laughs> came in a hundred piece box. I don't remember that. And I just remember being a wee lad and just having goals at that time. So, uh, yeah, so like both, it'd be so cool to do that and to be uh, G.I. Joe. But um, You know what the first thing I wanted to be was? <laughs> What's that? A rabbit. <laughs> what? You know what the second thing I wanted to be was? What? A garbage man. Because I wanted to hang on the outside of the back of the truck. <laughs> so, like, when you look at, like, the aspirations we had, yeah. I wanted to collect trash. You wanted to eat 100 nuggets. Yeah, and I wanted much. to be a clown. There you go. Well, there you and go. then the second thing I wanted to be was a veterinarian. <laughs> You could well, be a doctor for clowns. Yeah. That's Ooh. Which, yeah. So anyway, yeah, I mean, I kind of wanted to see. I mean, you've heard me say before, I feel like I could eat more chicken nuggets than most people I know. Yeah, so I... So I kind of wanted to see how many I could do. And how many could you eat? Well, see, we well, still... We didn't quite answer that, so even though I stopped around 60, I could have eaten more. He keeps saying he could have eaten more. I don't know. No, I could have, uh, but Amy kind of was really, really hinting that she didn't want me to throw up in in the studios. Uh, And also, I knew at that point for sure I was not going to get to 100. He was eating less than a nugget a minute. He was slow, people. So now, here's my other question. (laughs) Where, Where did you get your nuggets from? Danny, watch the video. I know, I know the answer to this. They but came from Burger King. Right. I, and I, it, that is explained why as well. Why? The video. For the people who don't watch I the video. I'm going to redo the yes, whole video. I think, yeah. I think people we should just watch the video. watch the video. It's there on YouTube. Uh, well, God, who wants to watch a, a crazy person suffer for an hour? When, we like, also I can, sing songs. We sing songs. There were cocktails served. There was ranch dressing. Oh, Danny, she did so much to me. I mean, she it's her fault. She's she's boozing me up and putting, like, mayonnaise on them, and she's like... I ma- did not make you eat anything whatever. with mayonnaise or ranch. There were condiments? There were condiments. Oh, I threatened him with yes, condiments. Yes. Was... She did not help at all. Well... I also ate half of Sarah Tipsy's pie. Only half of Yeah, one. half. As I'm doing all these nuggets, she's I, over I here like, look at me, challenge. I'm nibbling on I didn't pie. need to eat I will pie. say the one time I did a... We've talked about this. The one time I did a nugget challenge was back in college. Mm-hmm. And uh, I did, it was during McNugget Mania, 
and I did a 20 piece and a super sized fry and a super sized drink mm-hmm. and I was pretty impressed with myself. Really? Oh, Brian the had person, a super sized drink. The person, I did have a super sized drink. The person who I was with did that plus uh, the two for a dollar apple pies. So I will say that the aftermath of that, so many people want to say, a hundred doesn't sound like that much. I think I could do a hundred. Somebody at my job said that, um, and then someone else put her to the test and bought a hundred nuggets and had them delivered to work. She ate two. Two? Two. Because she, pardon the pun, she chickened out. Oh, goodness. She didn't even try <laughs> she, she did not try. She grabbed, there were Girl Scout cookies. She grabbed a sleeve of Thin Mints and said, look, I can eat these. She and ate a sleeve of there's Thin more, Mints. She's more chicken than the nuggets. <laughs> you you want to know what else happened in the aftermath? <laughs> What's that? Brian left 40 nuggets at my house and like 20 pe- cups of I don't think it was stuff. 20, but it was a lot. It was a lot. So, so wait, when you order a hundred nuggets, oh, how do you order it? Like, watch the video. Yeah, Danny, come on, we can't talk about this forever. Yeah. I've got my experience to talk about. That's still about the nuggets, but not on the video. I, I go still, for I still have experiences for it, too. But I, I wanted to get so, this out, out, get this done for our podcast listeners. So I had these forty nuggets left, and a normal person would throw them out, and I'm like, hey, I wonder what I could do with these. Mm-hmm. Right. My first couple thoughts on my own were kind of chop them up and make like a chili out of them because put in some hot peppers and beans and the breading would thicken the sauce and all that jazz. Yeah. The breading's what would concern me about the chili. The other thought I had was making some kind of hash, but um, like the old fashioned hash where it's finely chopped, not the big chunks that the chefs mm-hmm. do now where it's more like a skillet mm-hmm. and not. Mm-hmm. Um, and I actually went out and bought a potato because I usually don't have potatoes in the house. I bought a mm-hmm. couple of potatoes. I'm like, do I want to waste good potatoes on nugget hash? No. <laughs> like I made a hash when I like smoked the the standing rib roast in my so, grill, but for nugget. Yeah. So then I Googled, and you want to? <laughs> there, there was, wait. So you got to hear what came up. I, I'll tell you. Mentioned? I, no. The, what, one I, the one I mentioned yeah, earlier today. There was a lot of chicken parmesan casseroles. Mm-hmm. Some using spaghetti noodles, some using lasagna noodles, but basically you put. The pasta in the sauce on the bottom, the pre-cooked pasta, and then you layer the nuggets on top and douse it with mozzarella cheese and bake it. And that was like, "Eh." Uh, Did any of them suggest that you freeze them and then throw them at the squirrels in your yard? No, the other suggestion... Because I think that that would be good. Because if you hit the squirrel, you probably kill it with the frozen nugget. And if you miss it, if the squirrel dodges it, the squirrel gets a snack. If I don't want a squirrel around, I have a cat. But anyway, that is true. She could just throw her cat at the squirrel. I'm just saying. So the other option <laughs> all resulted in dousing it in sauce and serving it with something else. It's kind of hilarious. You could make like sweet and sour chicken. They said go buy sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Put it all over the chicken nuggets and then you know mm-hmm. cook it with your peppers and onions and carrots and everything or hoisin sauce. You, you know what's funny about here. that is that um, that you know I've talked about a, a few times like my work cafeteria. And like their novel ways of reusing things, like when mm-hmm. I I got burned by the mag, like that yep. canned cheese sauce. Uh, just today, I was looking at the salad bar, and they had um, chopped up. They had uh, buffalo chicken on it, but it was clearly the uh, fried like chicken breasts, like left over from the previous week, diced mm-hmm. and tossed in in bar- in buffalo sauce. But then the because uh, you can get either fried chicken sandwich or a grilled chicken sandwich. They also had a barbecue chicken that was the the grilled chicken breasts chopped up and tossed in the barbecue sauce from the pulled pork. Well, that, that would be better then, because they the other options were douse it in, in uh, buffalo sauce and make like a wrap or salad. A lot of mm. them are salad suggestions, too. So you're saying that basically my work is on the cutting edge yes. of nugget reuse technology. Yeah. And with all these options, I kept even thinking, like with the sweet and sour chicken, if I have the most Americanized dish chinese mm-hmm. dish sweet sour chicken that's breaded and fried and everything it's still gonna be better than these nuggets doused i mean in i sauce. just i can't get over i can't get past that no matter what you do with them they're recycled nuggets yeah i also so now i'm gonna throw them out <laughs> no i'll eat them i'll eat them we'll have another Only challenge food. i'm a i was 40 trying... wait a 35 oh. nugget Refrigerated week old nugget challenge. No, we should we should acknowledge we're it's tricky because we we record it's this pretty tricky. pretty close to when we drop this, but we have scheduled here for between when this is recorded and when the episode drops, we're 
tentatively doing another challenge. Yeah. Our, our, we always put this in quotation marks, friend of the podcast, Justin, who has been very generous to us. You know what? Justin has been very generous to us in very cruel ways. Yes. Yes. Justin Justin is is a friend of the podcast who is not a friend of the podcast. He's a friend of the podcast because he buys us foods to taste. He He even has them shipped from China. Yes. So this is what, this is what he has brought. He has bought us the, uh, the durian candy. I can't even say the durian candy, the wasabi Oreos, the hot hot chicken wing Oreos, and something this week too. The the, the hot sauce this week. But he listens uh, to us every week. So he said, I know I can do a hundred nuggets. So we said, you know what? You've been a loyal listener. You've done a lot for us, and even though we don't like the things you've done for us, our fans seem to and like You know us. what? You know what I do like about him, though? What's, What's that? that? Sometimes he's Team Brian. Yeah. Sometimes he's sometimes he's Team Danny. But he's, he's never, never Team Amy. Amy. <laughs> no, except he agreed with me on one of those chips, right? Yes, he agreed on, on one of the chips, and he doesn't like coffee. I just found that out. Hi, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so if you maybe saw that live stream, uh, unless he, again, I'm sorry, chickened out. Um, yeah, the live stream, if you're listening to this the day it drops, the live stream was yesterday, so hopefully yes. you watched. But so go not. back, watch my live stream, see what happened there, watch yeah. Justin's. Or just rewind, there. and I haven't got to all the key find, points from Brian's no. already. <laughs> find us on YouTube. It's a good not. place to plug our social media. Find us on YouTube. Obviously, we're doing things there. And, but we also advertise these things on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, so just follow mm-hmm. us everywhere. But hey, we want to start doing more live streams that are interactive, so make sure that you are following us on YouTube so that we, we will can be, be part of that fun. Coming. Yep. And some of them we're just going to do at random times, because mm-hmm. that's how we roll. Yeah. We're not really planners. Do you have news or other experiences we want um, to talk about? You know about? what I noticed? Uh, 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 this is kind of a Brian thing, Oh, too. I like Brian things. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Girl Scout cookies are back. Oh, no. Uh oh, yeah. Brian shamed himself. And Brian. <sighs> I didn't shame myself. Brian's come over to my side that they're expressionist. Oh. You've, you've become Danny. No, no, no. Okay, wait. No, I know. That's what's worrying me. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm becoming him. Uh, okay, so I work downtown Minneapolis to get to and from my office building or to go to lunch or breaks or anything. I had to walk by this table of obnoxious Girl Scouts this week. If there's one thing you should know about Brian is that he loves kids. Oh, my gosh. Well, no, he loves Girl Scout cookies, though. Like, like, he did not buy 12 I boxes. Do. I bought zero from them. Uh, I got so many. I had to, like, tell people, hold me back. Because every time, so like you're you're coming to work, you're going on your morning break, coming back from your break, afternoon break, coming and going, lunch coming and going, leaving go to work. School? Exactly. I wanted to be like, get a job, go to school, get a job, this sell is cheaper job. cookies. I can get these at Walmart or Target much cheaper. You know what got me? I was looking. Ooh. at it. You know the difference between your two experiences, though. Danny Blame is one lone Girl Scout for yes, all for And Brian was accosted by 12 yes. in an hour. So if they, if they, not 12 in an hour, but like. <laughs> that no. one girl ripped me off of 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I go rewind like a year. No, and it wasn't just like, hey, do you want to buy Girl Scout cookies? It was like, okay, first of all, I just walked by you 10 minutes ago. So like recognize that. But also, no, thank you. Uh, oh, but you can put them in the freezer. Oh, you can give them as gifts. And like, no. You should have handed no. them a card of ours and said, I know. <laughs> I know. And here's where you can get them. You know, that's like I was in the Caribbean. That's like the the like in the craft markets mm-hmm. when they're like shake my hand and you're like no because I know you're not <laughs> yes. gonna let go of it. Yes. Uh, and then so, they're like I have so not friendly. Run into any Girl no. Scouts or Girl Scout cookies. I mean, anywhere. hey, Girl Scouts, great organization, support them. But these Girl Scouts specifically, I could not. And you know what? I did not bring me Girl Scout cookies. Um, I didn't buy any. The, you know what? I noticed there's a, an order form in my office. Mm-hmm. And all, well, one, it was advertising that the uh, peanut butter patty mm-hmm. or tag along mm-hmm. is vegan. That would make sense. I can see that. Sense. Well, it didn't because I was like, well, I thought well, the are vegan. So I, it's what if the not chocolate has milk? I was like, if it's milk chocolate. And so I'm like, wait, if it's vegan, that means it's not milk chocolate. And then I went down the order form and every single one of them referred to chocolatey. Like Ooh. the Samoa has chocolatey stripes. Hmm. The the tagalong is 
dipped it's dipped in a chocolatey coating. I mean, let's just There's, keep it real. They're all delicious anyway, regardless uh, of what yeah. that is on it. But uh, and let's also keep it real. For half the price, you can go to Aldi or Walmart, Walmart or, or Walgreens. CBS, and yeah, and everybody do pretty finally, Walgreens. Yeah. Uh, go Walgreens back. Even. Yeah, mm-hmm. go back to last year. We did the Ooh. caramel delight imitation. Oh, yeah, everyone has. And the Girl Scout one lost on the yeah, it came like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did a blind test. Yeah. Ooh. But, uh, yeah, support the Girl Scouts, but if you kind of want to save money, you have options. We're just going to say that. And I say this. You know what? Uh, get your change. Did you just want to hear me get angry? Is that the only reason you brought that up? <laughs> yeah, so that was... That was <laughs> That's my, your food my experience food, of the week. <laughs> my food experience so far. My experience has been, Brian, tell me about the nuggets. And then I said Girl Scouts. And I said Brian off twice. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I don't I don't rant on social media a lot, but I did this. Week. Oh, you I was like, I'm gonna get heat for this one, and I did fine. Do you want me to tell an actual food experience? Yeah. Of mine I don't now? know. We're, we're a long ways into this, but go that's ahead. okay. I know what the snacks were. Okay, we'll be fine. Um, so, let, and Amy got to witness this last mm-hmm. night. I was <laughs> we were at a bar, and on their menu they had a dessert pizza oh. that was. Cin- I was hearing about this. That was cinnamon. Banana, white chocolate, and mozzarella yeah, cheese. Yeah, how was that? Um, it was cinnamon. I, I was like, no. I was most skeptical about the mozzarella cheese. Now, Amy, did you know there was cinnamon? Yes. Okay, uh, you ate it anyway. I did. Uh, you risked like and out. I could see the cinnamon. The cinnamon was like a like, layer onto itself. I ordered it because. I like when I see something like that, I have to try I it. I wanted to taste it, so it's so good. I mean, I the mozzarella. It. I mean, that cheese. was. I was given. Oh, oh gosh. I mean, like I've had like plantains with cojita mm-hmm. on it, so I was mm-hmm. like that. This bananas and mozzarella is not. Or cheese of like cream together. cheese that goes in dessert. Cream so... cheese is, is the devil. Uh, Danny, I have jalapeno cream cheese. No, but even worse. So, <laughs> anyway, so the server had what she had told me. Was that once the cheese cools a little bit, it's uh-huh. really good. It was super good with the cheese hot, with the cheese cold. Okay. Yeah, it was tasty. Um, the mozzarella wasn't... With the cheese in a t- hot nine days old. No, yeah. But now, here's my favorite part that's not really uh-huh. a food part. But He likes um, to brag. I do like to brag. It, gosh, if you're just finding that out, welcome to Food Find Us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> must be your first time listening. Which it could be. It could be. <laughs> welcome aboard. This is what I do. I brag. So... Um, I have many weird talents, and one of them is <laughs> crane machines. <laughs> crane? It is, it is crane. Those crane like the arm toy, things. The, yeah. the skill crane. I have yeah. witnessed it. You witnessed it. Right. So you know this. So um, the place we're at, uh, it had just been filled, which is a really good time to, mm-hmm. like, you can do stuff in a full crane machine you can't do with an empty mm-hmm. one. And I, that's another podcast that I don't have. Anyways, I brought a couple of people over. I'm like, I'm going to teach you a lesson in, in skill crane arts because this is going to be a really good learning moment. And they all got their cash out because they right, really want to learn. Right, right. They wanted to learn because they've what seen What were this. the things in this that you were going for? I, well, you, the number one rule of the skill crane is you don't choose what you go for. You look at and see what right. you can win. So what were so you So here's yeah, – well, here, this is where it gets good. Uh, so there was like a stuffed Barney Rubble that I was able to manipulate and get out. And then uh, we were looking at this Minnesota Vikings – Hat and a total stranger who doesn't know me or the two I'm with is like, you get that. I'll give you twenty bucks if you get that hat out. Doesn't know who he's dealing with. Uh, I, we had already put a five dollar machine in, so there's already like two credits. I just take the little joystick, scoot over, first shot, pick the hat up, and win it. And the guy's like. Uh, and I just stuck my hand out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, here you go, I won. And you ate the twenty dollar bill, and, and that's he, why you're telling the story. And he handed me the twenty dollar bill. Like he took, he took out his wallet, and he's like, I'm good for my word. What was the point? And Danny of kept one? it, so that's what he used to buy. That's the pizza that's how I paid. <laughs> that's how I paid for the pizza. And the the point was for him to brag. Okay. The point was for me to brag. All right. Like I didn't pay for the pizza. The guy who questioned my who was like. Uh, I'll give you twenty bucks if you can get that hat out, and I was like, mm, "Give me twenty bucks." There's the hat. Hey, Amy, I have and news. I kept the hat. I kept the hat. <laughs> and for the wait, one more thing for those uh, that don't know, since there may be new listeners, post Amy's very allergic to cinnamon. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I tried to stop her like I four to times. Eat it. <laughs> I will still eat cinnamon, understanding that I will have a sore throat and possibly earaches, and sometimes have a hard time swallowing it, water after. It came out, and I'm like, "This smells really cinnamony." I'm like, "Amy, you don't want this. It's all." And she's like, "I do," and I'm like, "No." I'm having a piece. <laughs> and then I ate a piece. And I'm like, "No, there's a lot of cinnamon. And you don't yep. want this." So, 
Yeah, so I had a sore throat so, today before we ate our foods, but Brian has news first. Yes. Okay. First of all, real quick, uh, the end of the month is coming up, so let's just throw this out there right now. The the March Dairy Queen Blizzard, while we don't know what it is yet, I don't think any of us know. Please, God, let there be a new seasonal menu. But, I mean, I, we can only hope for that because otherwise it's going to be some junky little mint thing that they're going to Oh, it's totally going to be mint Oreos. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, green. Yeah, yeah. Shamrock so It's going to be something mint. So let's hope for a new menu that has many new blizzards on it. Please, so, Dairy Queen, do so it. So at least we get something new. So yes. is that, that your news? That's not my news. Okay. No, no. My news, Hostess has a birthday. Oh, Ooh. I saw yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you know, don't say, but Amy, how old do you think Hostess is? Oh, I Does don't that know. count it like just going out of business and reopening like two years ago? Well, they were still around. They, they, they yeah. Just, 80 years? They are turning 100, 100 years old. Oh. So in honor of this, they are coming out with some new cupcakes. So typically they just have the chocolate, mm-hmm. which plenty... Yeah. Have I ever told you how I eat those? They also have the yellow and the cool. orange ones, don't they? Uh, they do. Yep, yeah, those yeah. are newer as well. No, the the chocolate ones, you got to peel off the little frosting, the little icing, and eat it, you, and you, slather on peanut butter. You, yeah, you peel off the chocolate disc, not the vanilla stripes on the chocolate disc. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I just well, to, well, I would peel oh, off the chocolate disc, put that. peanut butter, and then put the chocolate disc on top. Mm, yeah. first, but the way I eat is I pull off the bottom part, eat that first, because it's my least favorite. That's the same thing as what he did. No, because there's still cake attached to the chocolate frosting. Yeah, you just cut the cupcake in half. I mean, the frosting just easily peels off. Yeah. So let's talk about yeah. these new cupcakes. Yeah, so it's uh, obviously birthday cake, which is so it's a birthday cake cupcake. Is it white mm-hmm. or yellow? It is white. It is white. Uh, then they also have chocolate mint. Eh. Uh, and then strawberry, which could be interesting. Oh, yeah. So that mm-hmm. is what is coming from Hostess. That might even be out. So I haven't seen them, but... I, I've seen allegedly I've that seen pictures out. of them. I've seen pictures and that's it. I've, I've seen the St. Patrick's stores. Day Little Debbie's or yeah, was it Little Debbie's? Kind of yeah. Okay, yeah, you know Little Debbie's don't answer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't find them. Um, one more quick news thing. Uh, we have new M and M's today that we're talking about, but they've been out for just a few weeks now. The flavor contest. There is a new M and M. Is this the Easter which one you're going to share? This is so disappointing to me. It's white chocolate, already danger zone. Right. White chocolate marshmallow. Mm-hmm. Oh. You know, I yeah. love. If you're going to do marshmallow, I'd do it with chocolate on top of Well, plant. here's the question How do you have marshmallow flavored chocolate? There's not marshmallow in the MM. No, yeah, I'm sure it's not. It's marshmallow flavored. It's marshmallow yeah. flavored. Speaking of which, here, this is my another, my news on the fly. Mm-hmm. We're coming up on Easter season. Peeps are back in the stores. They are. Oh, and the Peeps cereal is out. Now, people keep telling me, oh, Brian, Peeps cereal, you're going to hate it. No, it's not the flavor of Peeps that I hate. It's the awful texture. It's the grainy sugar on top of a marshmallow. Right, which doesn't is really like marshmallow with. to begin with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's fine. It's fine. But why would I just want to eat a marshmallow? But you know what I am hoping for? What's that? You know, I think the first live stream we really did that was, like, just full of Brian torture of this podcast mm-hmm. was when we tried, like, the nine or ten different flavors. Yes, that, yep. was, that was the only – that was a Facebook live stream that we did. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming that they're mixing – they're on the, our page still. Yeah, that they're mixing the flavors up, so look for that coming soon. Oh, I'm sure that it's the same. We don't have to do that. Mm-hmm. But I – but there's lots of Easter candy, so this is kind of like <laughs> – Oh, there's so many Reese's things. That, oh, oh, we're Reese. gonna have fun with Easter. Yeah, we're gonna have fun yep. with Easter. So, shall we move on to what the gifts our listeners gave us? Yeah. Uh, didn't I kill 45 minutes? Isn't it time to go? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of uh, friend, friends of the podcast, Justin, friend of me, of the podcast, he did uh, give us. From the YouTube show Hot Ones. I have never heard of that, but apparently a lot of people uh, to, are familiar to, with like, it. Like suck up to that show to get a plug. Yeah, well. You know what? I've heard of Hot Ones, and I understand it's not just their sauce. It's their people. They are beautiful. I'm making that up. I, I'm sure they are. But this is the last dab uh, redux. Uh, just super, super spicy. Like the dance. Pepper um, and chocolate pepper. I did watch Justin eat this several times, and it would make him sweat and kind of convulse, and other people as well. It's really funny because some people, they're doing that thing where they're saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, but you can tell they're not fine. Uh, and then other people will eat it, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's kind of hot. I'm really surprised, though, because you ate this last week in the live stream, and then you did it again today. Okay, so, but Amy, let's be, yeah. Oh, no, this is the I third know what, time I've done it. You know what's interesting about that? Both times he ate them, it was on the same nuggets from the same batch. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, the first time I ate it with, um, I may have even eaten it on a Flaming Hot Dorito. Well, 
Yeah, look at me. Look at me. And then you cried. Uh, I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but when I was done with that challenge, what our viewers did not see is I was not in a good shape. And it was no. not from eating too much. My stomach was not full. Uh, uh, yes, it was, but that's I mean, not it was my full, but it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't like oh, I went to the buffet and really just did too much damage. No, mm. this was this was. I mean, the alcohol didn't help either. It was the hot sauce that really messed me up afterwards. I was coughing and like I could feel the hotness churning in my stomach. So you could breathe well through your nose. Yeah, I, oh, I mean, when it wasn't just flooded with mucus, uh, because I was blowing my nose for a good half hour. Yeah, the hot. Hot, spicy things clear out your sinuses they better really than do. anything else. They re- this especially. So, yeah. And that, then he did it again. Just now. The things I do for you people. Yeah. I, I think you need to yeah. think he secretly you know likes what? this. I know, yeah. it, I, I know what it is. It's that... He said that he likes this. He likes the attention. And nobody suffers... On camera, like that. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. Like I coming as a compliment. Like coming from a family of people who just suffer for attention. Like we, like we don't, we don't feel pain. We suffer. Brian suffers <laughs> when we give him stuff. No, and, you know the thing is, you, you do know, suffer. And, you're like, I don't want to look bad on things. So I, I'm just open and honest with my feelings. And, and the thing is, is that for some reason... Have you seen my face when I have a coffee-flavored oh, thing? True. People love watching you suffer. <laughs> they do. They do. They I mean, really if do. they're like, who cares? Or, you know, like, I wouldn't do it. But I'll, if people enjoy it, I'll do it. So we, that was no not shame. the only hot sauce No, we tried. another, another, another person who has questionable friend status, Matthew, got, uh, got us in possession of some ghost pepper and blueberry hot sauce. No. Matching with the blueberry does help temper the heat because sugar, uh, as a base, counteracts the, the acid, mm-hmm. which is why milk works, the lactose. To, uh, if you like blueberry, you might like this. I mean, this is – it's different because the uh, last dab pepper and chocolate hot sauce – uh, that builds on you. The last dab set my mouth on fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, and we recorded that. Yeah, so. the the blueberry one. Maybe I didn't have enough of it, but I was like, oh, that's yeah, just, just do do a little chug. Oh, you know what? I'm busy right now. Oh, okay. I'm recording a podcast. <laughs> this one, it, it's like a fireball in your mouth, but then it goes away. It doesn't keep building. It doesn't stick around for a super long time. When we did that, I talked about I think we the video. That a number of years ago, I, I grew ghost peppers. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start those plants again this year and then give them away. Because I don't want them, but uh, I don't know if this friend listens, but I have a friend who's buying a new house and is into spicy things, so as a, a housewarming gift, I'm thinking of giving some ghost pepper plants. All right. Well, that's nice. That's a, I, I'm also a weird kind of friend. <laughs> yeah. Hope you, like yep. your new, hope you like your new house. We're not disagreeing here's, with you. <laughs> here's two ghost pepper plants. And uh, the last half, this sauce is so thick, though. How like thick is it? It's a very thick sauce. It's so thick, like there were chunks in it that I was still discovering an hour later after I ate it. It's uh, It actually has flavor if you can get past the, the, the heat. And the flavor's mm. not bad. Yeah, it's it's thicker than a salsa. The ghost pepper one, you can really taste the blueberry. And I like blueberry, yeah. so... But I, it's, <laughs> it's a... Um, not something I would necessarily put on nachos because of the blueberry flavor. Can I, Maybe something you put yeah, in like a pancakes. barbecue sauce. I, I'm gonna, I was going to say barbecue sauce. Nothing. I'm going to love with you guys and confess something. The Clearly the worst part of these sauces was the weak old nugget that you put it on. <laughs> Six-day-old nugget. Five-day-old nugget. Five-day-old Burger King Refrigerated. chicken nugget <laughs> just you, straight you. out of the fridge. <laughs> And Brian shoved it into my mouth with hot sauce. Though the hot sauce was not the worst. And then my Danny gave me one that he coated with. I know I did not coat it. <laughs> no, it was you. You did it. No, this was <laughs> Brian I, coated it. Danny I, refused to eat it. He I shoved was, it in my hand. I hands. was holding it, and Brian poured way too much on okay. there. Well, and then the hot sauce went running down my hand. There was so much on it. You had eat. just finished some bravado about how you could handle spicy. You did, and then you're like, no, this is no. I was starting to hot. say even. I had started though to say even though I'm the one that like, see, let me put this on for myself, and you cut me off, and you gave me but a you dripping one. We'll go to the video. 
It was like two minutes earlier. You're like, I like spicy way more than you do to do. Well, here, have this one. <laughs> no, you just it. didn't want to eat it. You didn't want to have You'll a teaspoon it. of sauce on your nose. Well, no, but I also didn't. Wasn't like, ah, look at me, yeah, iron yeah, You had options. You could have just had a spoonful of it, but you were like, nope, no, putting it on a nugget. This oh. dripped into my hand onto the spoon. I ate it by the spoon, <laughs> and then they're like, you need to finish your nugget. I'm like the don't, host. I shouldn't have to do that. Don't you guys know that like. I the, like the gig is that I torture you. <laughs> Not every week. We Not need every to torture week. you too. Yes, you, I, you but I dodge it. I'm pretty good. No, we're, I, yeah. Like I, we're gonna we start can always bring back some more frosting and uh, pop tarts. Oh, well, frosting on pop. Yes. Add frosting to the pop tarts. <laughs> and then butter them. Yeah, I'll, yes. I'll, with margarine this time. <laughs> I uh, I secretly like country crock. Okay. It's not a secret anymore. <laughs> like you wouldn't think that. Like, <laughs> Is that one of your confessions? <laughs> well, like I like country crock. Who confesses that? <laughs> I do. Like, country crock. Like you get the giant tub of it. Like most people uh, think, oh, gross. Well, speaking of crocks, we have uh, chips here. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with the M and M's first. Oh, we have. Okay, yeah, M and M's. Okay. You have the, the chips are vote coming. on the M and M's. You guys describe this contest. Or so whatever. it's a round the world trip. And uh, there's three internationally inspired flavors of M&M's, all limited edition. You can vote on them, and uh, we tried them all for you so that you know what to what expect. What are the three flavors? Thanks, Amy. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> there's English toffee peanut. There is Thai coconut peanut. And there is Mexican jalapeno peanut. I... Uh... The toffee was coffee. Toffee. Coffee toffee. A lot of rhyming words. It was not just burnt sugar toffee, because I like toffee. I like, I love taste, score I really and heat. Coffee in it. I, I, I understood something like, yeah. it, it's not actually coffee, but the nuts and burnt sugar and chocolate combined give you something that is reminiscent of Yeah. To coffee. me, this tasted so much like the peanut brittle... That I just, I it just like, didn't why? taste anything like peanut really? brittle to me. The peanut brittle was sweeter. I, maybe I'm thinking of the crunchy caramel, but this mm. this flavor, I'm like, I've had this one before. This is not a new flavor. So this one is not getting my vote, M&M. If you like, if you don't like coffee, don't have this. If you like caramel, I love crunchiness caramel. and, and crunchiness. toffee, mm-hmm. which I do, you will love this. I love every other toffee I've had. Just I also this. love all things coconut. Did you love these? Um, I was disappointed in the coconut M and M's. I'm just gonna say that right up front. Um, I had them after the hot sauce, and they saved me, so I mm-hmm. can't really be mad at them. <laughs> no, I, I, well, there's a good coconut flavor in them. The first mm-hmm. one I tried didn't have much coconut, but the rest did. I could really mm-hmm. taste the coconut. I'm gonna try another one because I didn't get a lot of coconut at all. I want more. It's coconutty. There's like. It's a not little, like mounds flavored of coconut. There's but. something else going on. Like it wants to be a Thai curry, Whoops. but it's not a Thai curry. Oh, I'm not getting that at no, all. No, it's just like a little bit of off flavor. It's a little chemically. Yeah, I don't taste the chocolate that much either. I was hoping for more of a chocolatey flavor to mm-hmm. go with the coconut. And it's like almost like pina colada but it's not. It's kind of like the taste of flight coconut. Yeah. I think this one would benefit from not being a peanut m M&M. and yeah, what's also weird about this one is that when you take it apart, you can't find any sign of the coconut. Mm-hmm. No, you can't. Oh, no, it's not, there's no coconut in it. Not at all, because you would feel the texture in there. There's uh, coconut flavor. Mm-hmm. And there needs to be more. Maybe that's what it is, is that it's coconut flavor, but it's not coconut. Mm-hmm. And then the last one, I'm assuming is your favorite, Brian, is the Mexican jalapeno. You know what? That's not my favorite. Huh. Yeah. The jalapeno surprised me in that it tastes like jalapeno but without the heat. Yeah, it's spicy but not hot. Well, yeah, it was spicy. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. After eating like five of them at once, I was like, oh, that's hot in my mouth. It tastes like what what they wanted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't want that in my M M&M. and M. And for a sweet hot combo, there's other things I like better. Yeah, I don't. I mean, hey. You're going to be surprised. I don't really like spicy things that much. I know. Despite so, <laughs> eating the hottest hot sauce but, at times. Didn't we recently in an FMK have you marry the spicy thing? I don't know. There was one. Was 
I feverish? It might have been like the Thai. Oh, I think uh, there's one. That, yeah. Hmm. We've eaten so many awful things, though. I don't. I, I need to things. see what it was up against. Yeah. So, uh, you've had time to think about it. Yes. It's time to play FMK with these three. Yes. Frolic with Mary or, or kill. kill. Three M and M's. Because we are a three all ages podcast here. Three life outcomes. Host Amy, you look ready, or are you studying? No, I think I'm ready. Okay. I don't love my options, honestly, but... Well, yeah. that's welcome to real life. I am going to frolic with the jalapeno Ooh, for a little okay. spice, a little fun. Okay. Oh, I've so wanted to like the toffee. I love toffee. I love score. I love heath. I love all those things, but this was too coffee, so I have to kill it. Which leaves me with the imitation coconut to marry. It's mild enough. That's super exciting, but it will get me through the long haul. It won't turn me off after a while. And, yeah, I, mm, I do mm. still kind of like the jalapeno. Maybe I'm going to frolic with the jalapeno a few times. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? That jalapeno, it, you're right, Amy. There's some spice there. But even I can't can't make myself. I just too know, spicy, too I just, spicy. Yep, that's like you know. Ooh, there are so many things I could say right now if we didn't have little ears listening. But uh, yeah, that's just that's too much. The studio for me to cat handle. doesn't mind. No. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to kill the jalapeno here because uh, I even in my darkest of days, that's not gonna happen. Uh, I am going to marry the toffee. You know, I, I'm worried, though. I don't know if I'm making the right choice, but, you know, there aren't a lot of fish in the sea. So I'm, I'm just going to settle and marry the toffee M&Ms. Um, and we'll be all right. You know, like I said, I feel like I've had this before. It's, it's kind of familiar. There are no problems with it. I would like something a little more exciting, but, hey, it's it's fine. It's, we'll, we'll be all right. We'll, yeah. Uh, I will frolic with the Thai coconut. Uh, I cannot marry this. I want to marry. This is the one. This is like the 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 homecoming queen that you never got together with in high school, but then you meet up years later. You're like, ooh, what happened? Uh, and you're like, nope, that, I dodged a bullet there. And um, yeah, that, that's what happened here. I really want to love these, but the coconut is just not there. Um, so, you know, we can, I'm, I'm going to be tempted though, to keep going back to see like, has anything changed? So I'm going to frolic with the coconut, but I'm going to marry the top and kill the jalapeno. Uh, we're very similar in this, Brian. Uh, I'm killing the jalapeno. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not my thing. I've had, there's so many M&Ms out there Mm -hmm. and, um, I, think I can't. This is my least favorite. I can't think of one I like less. Mm-hmm. Um, we had one recently. It was another bad. Uh, you one. know what we had? I don't even think those were worse. I, I just feel like they, they just were weren't just good chocolate. Dumb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that leaves us. I mean, what about like there were orange dreamsicle? But even those, yeah. I could, I could eat them. So that's gonna leave us with the coconut and the toffee. Mm-hmm. And I agree with you. Like you know, I'll, like a sports analogy. Mm-hmm. You know, I so, say like on paper. The coconut ones are far and away, but, you know, they don't play the game on paper. They yeah, play it on the field. Yeah. And the toffee, I, I love toffee. I love the crunchy caramel. And, and I thought I had the tiebreaker mm-hmm. figured out. And, and I'm going to need you both to help me on this. Okay. Like, um, like a reality show. No, just like more like a reality check. Because maybe it's late and maybe I've had, like, too much, like, hot sauce. Nuggets. And nuggets, <laughs> but I'm basically making my decision based on the Eminem character on the bag, <laughs> and and I'm looking at at the coconut one with which clearly she's got like a flower in her hair and she's got a coconut and a silly straw and um she's kind of hot like for an Eminem like she's not like green she's M&M's. not even the green one yeah no but. <laughs> Like and on paper that's making her better. But you don't like the guy in the derby. But wait, I'm getting there. Oh. I'm getting there. But she's got her finger on her lip, and it just kind of makes her look just like a little ditzy. Well, it's like, maybe it's a little suggestive. It seems like well, hard suggestive, right? Yeah. Right, and 
And I'm kind of like... And you love tiki drinks, so drinking out do. of a coconut so shell like, of tiki, so Danny. Hot. So but part of me is like... Is it lust or love? That's what Right, we, yes. right. That's what I'm like. I'm like, oh, God, I'm like I'm like a moth to a flame. Mm-hmm. But, but like, are you going to get burned? But at some point, like at breakfast, we're going to drive a conversation. Mm-hmm. And then it's because I'm going to be talking to the empty coconut shell. Right? Versus... Taking her head. Right. <laughs> Versus this proper English He's gentleman. He's going to be there in the morning ready right. to converse. He's mm-hmm. going to be like my butler. He's bringing me breakfast. I'm not going to be like, what is she doing here? Like, what? what's going no, on? No, I was thinking, this is like a beauty He's got a pageant. weird little smile. This he is. Like, this is I like, mean, he's hello. He's interested in me. No, it's a beauty pageant where they are yes. measuring your uh, insides as well as your outsides. Right, so, and... Know. So I'm, like, really torn here. Well, okay, do you want to frolic with the tiki girl or the butler? Well, that's the problem, right? Like, like, you don't part, know. Of, like part of me, part of me is like, I'm not really into dudes, but, right. like, she might not be all it's there. Right, but know, it's just it's my personal preference. My personal I preference. I think you want but, the tiki for the long haul. But, you know what? You have like, a thing for tiki. I do, but at some point, like... It's just that, like, like just kind of Imagine how like, many tiki drinks you can make with coconut. Look at the expression in her face. There's oh, nothing no. going on in there. Nope. Like, she is a, I mean, dumb as a coconut. Okay, time's up. Decide. Uh, See, Danny, decide. we have more to talk about. I'm taking the trophy bride. Bring me the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I can just mess Probably around, with, with, I'm messing the, around with the butler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enter Wadsworth. Okay. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> there we go. I, we all... Nope. You okay. did not pick something different. To marry the knighted. We're both marrying the coconut. But we're killing something different. Yeah, we are. Yeah, no no two of us were the same. Nope. We're all happy. So we'll move on to meat flavored Ooh, potato chips yes, and from uh, Doritos. Lay's from Doritos our international corner. Yeah. So Danny, tell us where you got these and what uh, they these are. These are all over from all over the place. The real McCoys. Which are is the fr- flame grilled they, steak. The real where are these from? The, these are from England. Okay. These uh these came from England. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of British chips coming up. Yes, from your travels, you. Uh, this is actually not mine. This is oh. a this is a Renee. Okay, friend this of the podcast, Renee. Yeah, she yeah, gives she, us good things. She usually. does, yeah. <laughs> um, but I was like, hey, the Brits are big on meat chips. See what you can do for me. And yeah, and we've had a lot of good. These are flame grilled steak. We've had a lot of good steak chips. And these were not. No, they're not. At but all. we'll we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, so we, we also have. Uh, from the, I saw I was in the Caribbean. We have uh, from Lay's in the Dominican Republic. Although I did see these in numerous Caribbean islands, but never in America. Uh, grilled chicken Lay's, mm-hmm. and, and uh, on the drumstick. on the box, it's just a, it's just a drumstick that's been lightly uh, basted Seared, in yeah. in barbecue sauce. Not like a real thick American barbecue sauce. Just a Maybe little it was, sheen. Just it was just marinated in something yep. reddish and. Throw it and on the your, grill. Your favorite. And then this is concept. Yeah, my favorite. Co- exactly, my favorite concept. Uh, these are Doritos, also not American. These are also from uh, the Dominican Republic. Uh, ooh, PM late night taco. Uh, I love that idea of just like the drunken two a.m. taco, right? Like oh, not two a.m. This, these are PM. Yeah. This is before PM. midnight. Well, late night it's taco. It's old folks. Like well, regardless. It's, 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 it's like, oh, it's 11 night. o'clock. We should go. <laughs> like, you know, Taco Bell had their whole thing of, like, fourth meal. Like, yeah. they're for late oh, night. Yeah. Oh, like, this they, is, they knew who they were advertising to. Right. Absolutely. And this is, like, a Dorito that should be reminiscent of that. Uh, and I love that idea. Of, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it's not just taco. It's, it's not a taco Dorito. It's a PM late, late night, night taco. So like the taco truck. Does this mean you're so have... drunk and tired that you don't realize your taco has no or taco to it? Otherwise, yeah, or right. otherwise or, incapacitated. Or, or sometimes those are really good, like the taco yeah. truck taco. Uh, no, I like taco truck tacos. Yeah, this was not yeah. taco. These, no, that's was what I was expecting. Let's just say these were disappointing. All of them. Yeah, but the Doritos especially, because I had more hopes for these. Yeah. Because they even make regular taco-flavored Doritos, which taste more like taco This than made me ones. think of the uh, Dorito Loco, the the Dorito, that or the, I'm sorry, the taco that was uh, Dorito as a shell. 
It reminded mm-hmm. me of just that shell with just, a little bit of seasoning just on Just taco it. shell. Mm-hmm. Not a lot more going on here. I did not get a lot of taco flavor. At, at one so, point, I thought I got a hint of sour cream, but that never came which back. Which you maybe did, but yeah. Are I, you saying you wish that there was more meat flavor in your chip? I'm saying I wish there were more taco flavor in my chip. What do you like your tacos filled with, Brian? Oh, a lot of things. Like, uh, you know, the seasoning is good. Uh, what, what, he especially what? likes the fish tacos with the coleslaw wow. on them. Oh, no. He I mean, you know, you got to have a little lettuce. I don't know. Like, just different things in there. <laughs> he wants his you, Dorito to taste like lettuce. No, there should be taco seasoning on the chip. I, I agree. There should be taco seasoning in this chip, and that's or like the it, one thing I was expecting. Or like, I can get it. Give me some al pastor. Like, make it like yeah. a little like sweet and tangy. Yeah, these were just weird. Because we had the oh, who made was it Pringles that had the seven layer dip? Yeah, yeah those were Pringles. incredible. Yeah. Those you tasted all the flavors. These none of them. None of them. So yeah. if, we, if we move on to the meat one. Oh, I, or do we have all of our just like? Angst out. Uh, my, my angst is, is okay. yeah. Like, come on. Like, I mean, that happened when I talked about the Girl Scouts. This is, I, yeah, this is, there. this is like the biggest chip tease I've had in a yeah. while because I really want it a lot. The, the real McCoy. The Danny uh, nailed it in his description. Yeah. It tastes like beef bullion. Yep. I mean, so I'll give him this. It just tastes like beef. But this said flame grilled steak and yeah, there was no. no no, we've had our share of flame grilled steak mm-hmm. chips. You can get a good charcoal flavor into a, a good chip. Good steak flavor too. Mm-hmm. This was neither. Nope. This was so That's disappointing. Beef bouillon. Yeah, because usually you can taste the the grill marks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, but the, these no. This is just artificially beefy. I mean, they're even ruffled. So I thought, oh, the flavor is really gonna stick in there. Yeah. Not good. So you know, and these then, you probably haven't heard of them. You don't need to seek them out. Yeah, and then you know, um. It's weird with Lay's. It just seems like fairly recently we've been able to find the Lay's from around the world. We had mm-hmm. the, the Thai Lay's, and those all had very strong, yeah, very the, distinct. The Indian, yes, they did. The, from India, the, the Indian, Lay's. Ooh. The, the, hey, remember the, the Magic Masala chips, Dan? Yeah. Yeah, those were good. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you say, so say you and Justin. Oh. Um, right, the, the Thai ones were oh. fascinating and yeah. very boldly flavored. So we had high hopes for this yeah, chicken. Yeah, because we've had chicken-flavored things before that it, it somehow tastes like chicken. And this was just it's very... It's mild. Uh, very, very, mi- very mild. Mm-hmm, chicken mm-hmm. grill flavor. Yeah. So our meat chips were disappointing this week, so that makes us all sad. Yeah. Well, it, it makes me especially yeah. sad, but mm-hmm. I also feel better. Because you were sad that you were let down by the meat chips, which means they're kind of growing on you. Because yeah. I've always said meat chips are not supposed to be good; they're supposed to be fascinating. Then that they are. I give they you are that. They are fascinating. I, give you I that. will say that. And these weren't that interesting. Don't no. taste bad. They're just bland and. They're vaguely yeah. chicken. Well, here's the thing: these chips are interesting. They just aren't quality. Yeah. Like if you're gonna be, if you're gonna give me a grilled chicken chip, give me a grilled chicken chip. Also. Uh, just real quick note before we wrap up. I'm proud because a pastor friend of mine sent me a meme that was Oreos uh, scantily dressed and the caption said Oreos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on that note, folks. On that note, follow us on social media. <laughs> oh, and leave we us have a, a comment line. Oh, yeah, leave us a message. 402 yum food 402-986-3663. We love hearing from you, even if you buy us... Food that hurts us. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you think. As long as it's on brand and interesting, we're good. Ask questions, yeah. give suggestions, whatever you want. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Have a great everybody. week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.